Line FBI. Line FBI brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. This week is Teleline FL. I are Fleur. 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 And yeah, yeah, everywhere you look, there's Fleur. So, what is the new product introduction of the week this week, Lady Una? Okay, this week, yes, I'm excited because we've not yet covered uh, Teledyne Fleur. Teledyne purchased um, the, this Fleur company and then they, they're continuing to make the modules, which is really cool. Also, their logo is just like, it's kind of badass looking. Um, okay, so this week we're featuring the Lepton 3.1 series of um, all in one camera modules from Teledyne. Um, so the, there's a couple different series, but the Lepton series is really popular. It's fairly low cost. It's like a real camera. You get, um, you know, video quality. Um, the, the Lepton 2 comes with 80 by 60. Uh, the Lepton 3.1 comes from 160, 120. These are like pre-calibrated, ready to go. Like you, you can get video out of them um, with temperature data that you can then overlay onto, um, you know, another video camera if you want to have um, a thermal overlay for a video or just use them as is. Um, what I really like about these is that they're, they're really um, popular, like it's very well used. There's a lot of support code um, and a lot of example hardware. So you're not kind of starting from nothing. You, you have a lot of basis um, if you want to add thermal imaging to your project. So thermal imaging is kind of, you know, like, you know, video imaging because you're watching this with a video imager um, and this measures photons. Um, but if you want to do thermal imaging, you need a special kind of camera that has sensors that will react to ambient temperature. And what's cool about this is that it can measure ambient temperatures much hotter than what you could measure by touching. So for example, like in the leftover image, leftmost image, you can do um, measurements of up to 400 degrees C. Now obviously no electronics is going to run at 400 degrees C, but you can point this at an oven or at a boiler or at um, equipment or at um, HVAC systems or plumbing, and you can measure the ambient temperature without even having to touch it. And also, you know, of a whole room. So they're often used for, of course, like obviously, um, thermal management of um, equipment, maintenance, um, but also like home, you know, uh, renovations. If you want to see like, where's the draft? So you can measure cold as well as heat, of course. So it's like, oh, where's the extra cold? Where's the extra hot? Um, so it's like, it, like a lot of, use cases all over the industry um and so what's neat about these is um they're really really small so these modules like they say like they're the size of a coin they're like you know like l less than an, it's a half an inch by a half an inch what is it sorry it's 15 it's 12 millimeters by 12 millimeters by like 10 millimeters and there are these like swappable modules they come in a couple different uh specifications all of them, they actually have on the left, the gray scale is like what it measures. It measures like the temperature range, but then it can apply a, a palette, your selectable palette so you can um, attach to them that will give you a false color, which is what you normally see from thermal cameras. So the different modules in the Lepton series that are, I mean, there's a couple discontinued ones, but the ones I think that are, are currently being made, the 2.5 is gonna be a little less expensive, but it's only 80 by 60. Um, the more popular ones that we see are the 3.1 and the 3.5, and both of those are 160 by 120 progressive. Um, they all have based on the same temperature range. The difference between the 3.1R and the 3.5 is the uh, field of view. So the 3.1R has a pretty wide um, field of view with 95 degree and 120 degrees. So I'll say, you know, if you go to the um, next thing, there is some distortion. So you can see the distortion. Of course, the, the lower the field of view, the less distorted it's gonna be. But maybe you don't care, like you don't, you're not looking for pixel perfect measurements, you're looking for being able to look at a wide range of um, the scenery to, to determine the temperature. So um, the 3.1R is, is great for that because you can get like a, you know, a big chunk of, um, of the view available. And if you want to interface with them, you know, check out the, um, product data sheet, which is different than like the app note, which was which is what we were initially linked to. So the data sheet will actually give you all the information about how to interface with these. So these don't provide USB um, video output. Instead, what you get is an I squared C interface called the command and control interface. And this is what you do. There's actually a lot of cameras are like this. You you set it up and you tell it like 
what temperature range you're looking at, what the, like the false color palette you want, and um, you know maybe the shutter speed and like the configuration, whatever. You tell it like all the settings you want, and then you use the video SPI, which is a you know video quote unquote SPI. Um, and this way you can implement it. You can integrate it with microcontrollers that don't necessarily have a USB port, and you don't need a full operating system to manage it because you're just like re it's just very high speed SPI that you're reading these video frames over um, because they're only 160 by 120 times, I think two bytes per. So it's like not too bad to read a frame um, if your clock rate is you know 20 megahertz. Um, that's, that's pretty reasonable for an uh, ARM Cortex M4 or like a 10 silicon ESP32 to handle. Um, the modules, like I said, are, you, know, you don't pick and place them. You instead plug them in um, so you have all the pins around, um, and on board is a little microprocessor that actually handles the um, reading from the thermal element, applies the, um, you know, management to make, like the, you know, it has to be some algorithmic um, analysis to make sure that everything is um, even in temperature because it's going to be like the self-heating of the sensor and the board, but you don't want that to affect the, the camera. So it normalizes all the data and then it sends it out over SPI based on your I2C commands. For the socket, there's two sockets. One looks like it's like surface mount, but the pins go underneath. One is surface mount, but the pins go outside. I don't know, there's, there's two Molex um, sockets available. One is quite popular. So this one, uh, the uh, 1001 series, um, and DigiKey stocks them and they're only like a dollar twenty so or a dollar or so in quantity. They're very inexpensive. You can pick and place them and then you would hand place the module on top. But if you don't want to even like get into that stuff, what you can do is get these Fleur Lepton accessories. There's breakout boards and dead boards available from group gets. Um, for example, the Pure Thermal 3, what's nice is that this does provide like a USB video output so you can get started with like, if you're like, oh, I want to integrate this sensor, but I'm not sure that it will work the way I want in my development, or like, does it have the temperature range I need, or the field of view I need, you can pick this up, you plug in your lepton into it, and then it just shows up like a little video monitor. Um, and they have example code and drivers as well for the firmware, and also how to interface with it on like a BeagleBone, a Raspberry Pi, a microcontroller, Arduino, etc. cetera. Um, they even have some Python code. And um, they work with DigiKey, which is kind of, it's like perfect because you can get your modules from DigiKey and then eventually go in, if you're going to production, you'd go and get the sockets and the cameras from DigiKey. But while you're doing the prototyping, um, you can start with all those group gets parts that we mentioned, they're stocked at the DigiKey website. So you can like pick them all up at once. Okay. Yeah, and the cameras are stocked. So they're about $140 a piece. Um, there are other models available too, so if you need like, if you want less distortion, get the, you know, the 3, if you want, if you're okay with more distortion, get like the 3.5 or whatever, or the ultra wide field of view. Uh, so check out the entire family available, this is just the one we're highlighting, but they are, there's there's like a dozen different cameras from Teledyne Flirt that are stopped at DigiKey and that group gets will help you get started with. All right, I'm going to video. Every day, the information devices provide the world is rapidly changing. At Teledyne FLIR, we're sparking innovation again with advancements on the world's most deployed thermal camera module. Introducing Lepton 3.1R. The new Lepton features a wider field of view, 160 by 120 resolution, a compact package, and non-contact temperature measurement. A wide field of view and Teledyne FLIR's de-warping technology expand the scene and enable new and emerging applications. Whether you're developing smarter buildings, detecting occupancy, preventing potential hazards before they cause harm, preventative maintenance, or enhancing how we interact with the world, Lepton can push the boundaries of your next creation, saving energy, cost, and lives. Innovation starts here, with Lepton 3.1R, by Teledyne FLIR. Hi, I'm MPI.